Rolling, turning the steam box off. Get the lid out of here. Okay, this doesn't feel particularly bendy. I don't know what happened with that steam or this wood because that's not going to bend. Wow. No, that's no good. Okay. I just had to actually have some moisture on it and it got wet for some reason. So we're going to go that route. That's not going to help me because my uh, other clamp isn't going to scoot up. Hmm. Yeah, a little bit. Interesting. I didn't run into that problem yesterday. I don't know man, 206 degrees and this stuff doesn't even feel warm. I'm a little, uh, a little irritated, I don't know. Of course, uh, we always say as soon as the camera's running nothing goes right.
this is another one of those things where you need about eight hands. And I'm only pre-bending it at this point. I'm going to re-glue it. I'm going to glue it and bend it back up in here again later on. It's tons of fun. Okay, we're good. This doesn't uh, this doesn't even feel hot on this end. Warm, hot, anything. All right, I'm going to heat this up a little bit on this end. right there. No cracking. Joy doesn't want to go. Looks like it wants to go that way a little bit. Beautiful. Alright. I didn't get any any splintering. That's good. I got just a little bit on the other bend. But it's um, this is wider than it needs to be, so it's not going to be in a part that matters. Plus, I I super glued and tacked it back in before I took it out of the mold. So tags on these clamps so I can take them back when I'm done.
Everything looks really good around here. The only place that looks a little open is right in the bottom of this cut here. And I'm going to do, um, I only just did that and it just went in a bit. But I got to loosen this clamp up and it's going to be hard to get it to stay in there while I, oh, maybe not. It'll be my luck. It'll just pop out here. There we go. Okay. I gotta rotate that block a little bit. really good. All right. Good. Well, we're there. We're going to I'm going to pull up on that a little bit and I'm going to tie a string around here to pull this this uh, end in over here. Uh, so that it's coming straight off the end of the mold. It's wanting to kind of shoot straight out instead of coming around. So I have a string right here from the last time. And right there. That takes care of that. There we go. So it's coming straight out of here instead of tipping down a little bit. And, uh, and that'll hold out there. I'm using the clamp I used last night somewhere else. So I'll use this one instead. Should be fine. So it pulled up both corners. This is good. This is working out all right. Yeah, not bad. All right, that's it. Um, even though it seemed like it didn't get as hot as it should have, it still seemed to bend up all right. To, uh, pull clamps. This uh, this has been glued up. It's been uh, it's been 24 hours, and uh, not that it needed to be that long, but uh, a little more stuff going on with it being glued up than when I was just kind of pre-bending it, because I wasn't as worried about it fitting everything perfectly. Um, but so with the cord, just made sure that I had uh, you know tighter. Tighter pull around here where I had a little gap here and there, so the cord uh, was able to pull that out. I'm not sure. So I took advantage of these holes that I drilled for the clamps. And, uh, ow, boy, that thing is wicked. I can't get that out of there because there's a cord tied over it. Anyway, I took advantage of the holes. Uh, that I had for the for the clamps 
and and put the cord through a lot of those. That was kind of a a little more uh, bothersome than just wrapping all the way around or having had uh, pegs or something out the side. But you know, um, if I were setting up to mass produce these things, then I would probably spend more time on the mold. As it is, I think I'm going to bend a couple more sets of sides uh, out of mahogany. I think I probably mentioned that before. I kind of want to build a, a parallel one of these in, instead of out of uh, primarily maple, I want to make it out of all mahogany. Um, I tend to like the sound of mahogany. And being that this is a par partially acoustic instrument, uh, I think that will play a factor. I'm not, I'm not remotely sold on how much effect wood has on an electric instrument. Pass. There really is no arguing that. If you have a, you know, all hard, brittle type woods, you're going to get a little more. Um, ice picky tone I would say, a little brighter tone. Um, nothing that couldn't be remedied with the electronics, which I do believe is the major major tone thing uh, on an electric guitar, more so than the wood. That's why you can have a, ah, this is a real rabbit trail, that's why you can have, got to do something while I'm wrapping this cord. That's why you can have a plexiglass guitar and have it sound like a guitar because it's the electronics primarily that give you your tonality. And acoustic, a fully acoustic guitar, it's a completely different situation. And a lot of factors from thickness of material to type of material, uh, even the type of strings, you will really hear difference uh, what and there are more things than I just mentioned on an acoustic that will affect it um, bridge plate thickness type of type of bracing X bracing ladder bracing uh, thickness of uh, the top material back material oh, there's just it's a never-ending list really as to what degree any of those things uh, actually affect how much tone they affect, I, I couldn't say. I haven't studied that. I made a joke the other day, I don't know if that, if that video will ever see light, but I made a joke the other day that I was going to leave the tags. I was leaving the tags on these little clamps so that I could take them back when I was done, but I'm not taking them back when I'm done. And I'm going to cut them off because they're kind of in, kind of in the way, little tags that is. Well, here, taking the weight off this end here, and there's virtually no spring back. A little twist, but that's that won't be an issue. All right, let's get rid of this guy. I'm excited about this. I have. Uh, been working toward this uh, glue up and uh, and the result thereof for quite a while now. So it should be interesting to see the result. It's also going to be interesting to see um, if I glued it to the mold. Oh, uh, this is this is this is wonderful. Yep. My little block delaminated. I had three pieces glued together. Look at that. Oh, you see that? I mean, there is so little spring back right there. That's that's awesome. I'm really happy with that. Wow. All right. Well, I'm going to glue up the next one, and uh, and that that wax, nothing, little little glue flake here and there just rubbed right off. Cool. Very cool.
All right, I'll bring you back in when I glue the other one up. <laughs>